Okay, so a lesser known narrative that uh, nobody's really talking about is Uriah Hall because the middleweights are really on full display on Saturday and nobody's really talking about him but Sean is in a number one contender fight and if he wins obviously he get a, he get a title shot especially with what he did saving international fight week I think a lot of people don't really talk about it because Uriah Hall is not the most consistent fighter and I think like a lot of people were really high on him it's like it's been a couple of times it's like a roller coaster ride with Uriah Hall because it's like you kind of like pretty much you believe in him and then he lose, and then you believe in him again, and then he lose, and then it's almost like, dang, don't want to keep believing in your right home. Yeah. So I think that's what the issue is with Uriah, it's just inconsistency. It's like pretty much making people believe in him like a little bit less, man. Because he, he did lose to uh, Sean Strickland, the guy who uh, possibly, if he beat Alex Pereira, he might be fighting for the belt. So that's not the worst loss to have. And at, the, and at the very least, if him and Israel lose, they fight each other at this point. You know what I mean? And he is he was that close for getting the title shot. He was that far away. So imagine if you're right home, like I know he we can't be go back right in time. Here. I know we can't go back in time or whatever, but if you're right home, if he beat Sean Strickland, then might be him fighting Alex right now. Yeah. So I mean, uh And like it, it's so odd because I haven't really heard anything from him either, to be honest. And the thing is, like, is we can't act like he didn't win four in a row prior to uh, losing to Sean Strickland and also the people he lost to. So, he, like, Uriah Hall, he's not somebody who's losing to cans, man. He right. loses to former champions, people who fought for the belt, people in the, in the top five. So, it's like, there's, like, a certain tier where Uriah Hall just can't get to. But, like, I wonder how, like, what, what like what's going through his head. Like, is, is he motivated? Is he? And then, on top of that, well, I think what his mind should be is on his opponent because he has a, a tough opponent in front of him. Man. Yeah, that's true. But it's, it's funny how people don't really give him his, his like, his credit and his respect. Yeah, because if he go out there and dispatch of Andre... To be honest, he shouldn't be that far away from a title. And I, I know Andre ain't no top five or nothing like that. But at the same time, stylistically, this is the type of uh, the fights that give your ride the most trouble. And Andre is, like, he's surging right now. You know what I mean? So if he can go out there and put a halt to that. And, again, you are one fight away from being the number one contender. You should theoretically be back on track to be in the conversation, at least. Because think about how many potential matchups. Think about it. Even if the loser of, uh, let's say, Jared Cannonier loses, well, if Uriah Hall can win, that set him up for a, a fight against somebody who just fought for the title. Uh, no matter you know, if Sean or Alex lose, that set him up for a potential fight with one of those guys. You know what I'm saying? So, it, like, and, and we can't act like uh, somebody getting a win over like a Marvin or a Robert Whitaker, whoever wins that fight, or whoever loses that fight. We can't act like whoever beats them. Can Don't. get can be right back in the top five. Yeah. So your right hall is not as far. This the only thing is that your right hall with your right hall he never get past this level right here, man. Because honestly, like we might disagree. I think your right hall is better than his opponent. But uh, I guess we'll we'll wait and see tomorrow. But uh, even if he do win, like he never really beat. Like say he beats uh, his opponent, but say he loses to the next person. Say he fights like uh, the loser out of Robert Whitaker and Marvin Vittori. Yeah. Say so, like I don't think he'll win that fight, man. You know what I mean? So he never really reaches past a certain point. He gets to like around like the number five, number six and then, ranking, and then he typically loses, man. Well, I know one thing. If I was him, of course it'll of course it would be smart to go out there and take care of your business. But if I win, I'm getting on that microphone and I'm finna say, Hey, I was one fight away from being number one contender. I'm back on track. Give me one of these guys, one of these four guys who, you know, competing tonight. At the uh, on the main card, and let me dispatch one of them, depending on how the night plays out, and I want my title shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'll be I'll be really trying to uh, get that out there in the air, to be honest. But y'all, let us know what y'all think.